Here we go, guys. Just got home. I uh, was checking the messages and stuff like that uh, from the video I did yesterday on the auto tune. Uh, regards to, to uh, Mountain Dew uh, Derek's uh, question and uh, regards on how to do it and how to set it up. Uh, hopefully, somebody can help me out or help somebody else out later on down the line. But, uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. <clears throat> this is basically what I did, Derek, to get to get it going and stuff like that. Hopefully, it'll help you out to understand uh, more about it. Basically, I went to uh, Clean Flight. Oh, computer's starting to reset or load up or something. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my old trusty uh, DX9 and set it up here. So you'd be able to see what's going on and uh, <clears throat> and be able to understand a little bit more about it. Plugging the uh, USB port in. I am connected. All right, basically, Derek, what you will have to do, and other by other people that's out there that wanting to check this out, want to do it, just set it up. Basically, what I did. <clears throat> the first no-no is that you do not want to do uh, Lux Flux. You cannot auto-tune on Lux Flux. And that's what I did yesterday. And <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. That's what I was trying to do yesterday. I was trying to auto-tune on Lux Flux. And I forgot because I thought I had it switched back to a PID controller one. Which is... The Moti Wii rewrite, which you should be able to do it on any of the other ones too, supposedly. That's what it says in the forums I've been paying attention and reading. But anyway, you're supposed to do it in here in the rewrite, right here. PID, PID1. <coughs> Excuse me. Basically, what I had to do, guys, uh, Derek, I had to go in here and you see where I got my horizon mode and everything like that set up. But I didn't have barometer or nothing like that set up or anything like that. Or the beeper because that beeper goes off once you start doing everything. So basically what I did, I set that for aux 1 for horizon. And auto tune also for aux 1. And basically what I did, I got it for the higher range of the uh, switch. <clears throat> so basically... <clears throat> Sorry guys, I am sorry. I gotta take a drink of coffee. Uh, get my throat a little clear. See if I can try to uh, connect this in here right here. Okay, now you hear the beeper going off. And basically, what that is is because I got this switch right here. But let me go ahead and uh, put my beeper range back on. Okay, now let's start the beeping as you guys can see right here Derek as I hit the switch right there <clears throat> it goes go ahead and take this off but as you can see right there I'm in horizon mode which I'm in right there and I flip the switch right there you see horizon is activated and I'm gonna scroll down and auto tune is not until you hit the third position switch right there and it is supposed to well, I didn't save it, but right there it activates auto tune right there in that third position switch. As soon as I turn the switch off, you see right there it automatically turned it off right there. And when I go back right here to the second position, which would be idle up one, <clears throat> that's basically where I got it set right there. And that's basically how auto tune works right there. But you see, I got it turned on right there, which I don't need it turned on right there. I need it turned on where it's up here to the higher value right there when I hit this the stick for the third value. That's the way I want it right there for when I hit 
my transmitter right there you see it's turned off and I still have horizon mode turned on and that is supposed to activate <clears throat> your auto tune right there Derek basically once you hit that switch and you get up there it's going to slowly start to do the uh, side to side shake and uh, you want to do it for no more than four seconds four or five seconds a lot of the guys they do it for a lot more than that and that's why they craft end up crashing and doing really crazy stuff but no more than four or five seconds the max and you flip that switch back off and then once you do it again it's going to start doing the pitch which would be jerking up and down it's supposed to be up and down jerk and stuff like that and you want to do it the same way and and once you get that done it's supposed to be actually set up right there and you're supposed to uh basically y'all to the left to turn your motors off and flip the switch which is right here to activate horizon mode off and on one more time that's supposed to save it so <clears throat> that's one way of doing it and the other way is they're saying that you're just supposed to disconnect the battery and automatically supposed to save your settings and everything like that and you just go from there buddy and test it out so but that's one thing you want to do make sure you do not have that on uh, Lux Flux because it will not work and one of the other deals like the adjustments that I did Derek is I was setting my stuff up normally on my PIDs like this and basically what I had was that the small point was P the mid point was I and the top point up here was D was basically it was more like this right here is basically what you see is what I had <clears throat> set up so you hit one two three and basically what I had like I say I had that set up for the pitch for that one it would do the pitch the pitch <clears throat> and roll PIDs <clears throat> then the pitch and roll in the I and the pitch and roll in the D so basically that's what I would have to do and it's the same as you would the first one you just move that switch <clears throat> to each spot like that see where it's doing now and that's basically what you would do right there and this other switch what I had right here is which I used to toggle to make my gains go up and down in the PID settings right here which you can see those gains values would go up and down once you flip the switch right here because that would act this actually turns it on when it's up in the position right there and right there is the mode to turn it off so that's the other way I had did before to uh to my to my quad up before man and I almost had that thing dialed in but like I say it's a totally different thing man when you're going through and you wanting to try out these different PID controllers each different one of those are set up for a different value or for a different flying style you know because I think one is for like acro mode or something like that and Lux Flux is supposed to be basically for acro acro mode I want to say that I'm sorry the other one's supposed to be for angle mode but this is for acro mode a bunch of loops and flips and rolls and stuff like that so yeah I had to go in and like I said I had to increase it on mine because it was really slow and you guys seen the last video when I did the PI the auto tune how slow it flipped because my my roll and pitch rates were real down there they were kind of low so uh, now I got them up to like 60 and the y'all rate is like 80 because before I had it like I want to say like 50 or something like that so Hopefully, guys, this is it right here. <clears throat> Derek, hopefully I got everything that you needed to know to figure out because that was one of the things that I was scared to do is uh, after watching a lot of the guys' videos, I was scared to do the auto-tune myself because of... Uh, oh, let me go back in here and change all that. Because of that feature right there, uh, that was one of the modes that I was scared to do. I didn't want to do the auto-tune because, you know, it would... Uh, it, it scared the crap out of me because watching, like I say, watching so many people's videos and. But I just said went ahead and forget 
tried it myself and uh, that's it so thanks for watching 10 minutes have a good day